Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. As we make our way through the book of Proverbs, we find ourselves today in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 21. Uh, King Solomon speaking to his son, the son whom he loves, desiring that he might impart some wisdom to his son so that his son would not have to make the same mistakes that he had and to pay the negative ramifications for those mistakes. Listen to what he says there in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 21. My son, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So the king, Solomon, wise, wiser than anyone ever other than the Lord himself. And he says to his son, keep sound wisdom and discretion. Wisdom is the quality of having good judgment. And in relation to biblical wisdom, it is related to good judgment in our decisions and our actions in obedience to God and His Word. Listen to what the author of James, James chapter 3 says in verse 13, it says, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. This wisdom does not descend from above, but is earthly, sensual, and demonic. For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. James is telling us here, divinely inspired by God, that there's a big difference between earthly wisdom and God's wisdom. There's a big difference in us doing what we think is right compared to what God says is right. And so wisdom in relation to the Bible, to being biblically wise, is related to having good judgments in our decisions and our actions based upon obedience to God and His Word. In Isaiah chapter 55, God says to the prophet Isaiah, and Isaiah shares with us, it says, For my thoughts, the Lord says, are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. God is far wiser than we are. He is smarter than we are. And to live our lives without the wisdom of God is like putting an engine together without the manufacturer's directions. Now, I have to be very honest. If I had the manufacturer's directions, I could not put an engine together. I don't know one part from another. But even a certified mechanic needs to have some of the instructions of the manufacturer of that engine. Let me give you an example. There are torque specifications. And so when there are bolts that need to be tightened up, there's a specific torque that they need to be tightened to. And so the mechanic would look in the manufacturer's directions, their instructions, to find what the torque is. The piston bore clearance measurements, they need to know that. Uh, the idea of tightening all series of bolts evenly in a crisscross pattern in two or three stages. The oil capacity specs. You see, all of these things often are different depending on which motor you're working on. And so you have to have, if you're going to do a good job, if you try to put the engine together without consulting the manufacturer's specs, then you're not going to get your engine started. Or if you do get your engine started, it won't run very long. Or it will do damage to the engine and it will not perform at its prime. The same is true of us. Listen to what it says in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being. You see, it's very clear there that God created us. And so he is our manufacturer and we need his specifications on how to live our lives. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, God says to Jeremiah, Before I formed you 
in your mother's womb. I knew you. I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. God creates us. He gives us life for a purpose. And we need to read and to spend time with him in order to find out that purpose. But listen to his purpose. He says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. And so as Solomon is sharing with his son, he comes there and he says, My son, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and keep discretion. In other words, how to use the wisdom and how we act and how we do things. And so we will never know how to fully uh, contain this message. We will never know how to fulfill this message until we have consulted the operators, the manufacturers, the uh, builders instruction booklet. And for our lives, that is the Bible. To be wise, to have discretion. And again, in relation to biblical wisdom, very different from earthly wisdom, in relation to biblical wisdom, that is to use good judgment in our decisions and our actions every day in obedience to God and to His Word. And so, you see, we need to look at the one who created us to get the specifications for our life, how we ought to live, how we ought to look, how we ought to, to act. And we can only find them in this, the operator manual. I pray that you're having time in that Word of God, the Bible, every day so that you can take that wisdom and that discretion and please God with your life. Father, remind us that we cannot please you without knowing what you want of us. And we can't know what you want of us until we know what your word says, the Bible. And so, Lord, help us make it a priority every day to find what you would have for us in your word and to live accordingly. Lord, that's having your wisdom and your discretion. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that you'll have a great day. God bless.